Hello Cancer and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be doing your general reading for March 2021. On this side I'm going to be looking at your relationship sector in life and on this side we'll look at career and money. Um, because these two energies a lot of times overlap even if the people are different in each but how you are feeling emotionally in one area can definitely affect the other. And so we'll see what the energies are in each sector and how they may be overlapping. So let's go ahead and get started. So you have overall the animal spirit of the elephant. And this is a lovely energy because the elephant is very wise. But the elephant has gained his wisdom or her wisdom through pain and you can see you know the third eye area your intuition is very strong but it's only because you've had to you know forage your way through the jungle you've had a lot of obstacles um, you may have had a lot of people or situations come and go in your life and because of that you are so much more wise um, and the elephant, because of their wisdom, is not afraid of the future. Like, they go through the jungle knowing that they can get through any obstacle because they have been able to push aside so many obstacles in the past. So it's a lovely, lovely energy. Oh, nice. Okay, so let's see what you have in relationships. And this can be romance, friend, family, or even co-workers. So you have passion and pleasure, savor your life. So this is lovely. Like you may be in a position where, you know, you have kind of come through the jungle. You do have this wisdom and you're ready to just kind of like, you know, embrace your relationships or bring in some new relationships and just have a lot of like pleasure with them. Um, you may be wanting to put down conflict that you've had in the past. Nice energy. So let's see what else we have with that. These are the Twin Flame um, Oracle cards, but I love them with any relationship reading. So you have Chaser, In Pursuit, Convincing, Rejection, Let Them Go and Let It Be. So, you know, it may be that you have a relationship, perhaps even a romantic relationship, that maybe has ended or needs to end and you need to allow that person to leave your life at least temporarily and to go within and enjoy who you are enjoy you know the things in your life that you like to do and here you know they're kind of traveling they're playing music they're outside they have the bonfire like just reuniting yourself with your with yourself and allowing this person to perhaps leave your life at least momentarily. And let's see what else we have. Split energy, options, unfocused, multitasking, decide what you really want. So with these two energies, I think it is kind of, you know, like when you have all work and no play <laughs> and you may be feeling like you were really working at a relationship um, that was definitely a significant relationship in your life but there was so much work and there wasn't a lot of play or pleasure and this is spirit coming in and saying you know go ahead and let that relationship go to the side for right now don't chase after it if it's really meant to be that relationship will come back to you and at the same time you need to focus your attention on what it is that you really want. So before, you know, you try to um, manifest this person or these people back into your life, make sure that that is what you truly want, right? And if you've been pushing them away or you're ready for them to leave your life, also make sure, is that what you really want? Because... Right now, you may feel a little scattered, um, which is kind of interesting because this elephant has a very focused energy. And you may be coming into this elephant energy because over here, it's kind of a, a scattered energy. I'm picking up a little bit of a scattered energy. And I think this is definitely spirit saying, go have some fun. Like, let this be whatever it is go have some fun 
and then you'll get the insight that you need for this situation. Now we're going to clarify all of this with Tarot, so we'll see what comes up. So impasse, this is in your career and money sector. Reflect and redirect your energy. Kind of interesting because you're kind of getting that same vibe here. It's kind of, <laughs> it's a little bit like you need a vacation, Cancer. Um, and just to get away from the situation, I, I also kind of wonder if this situation, you know, it can be romance, family, or friend, but I also kind of wonder if it's not co-worker because the energies here are just so overlapping. It's asking you to once again redirect your energy. I have a feeling, you know, you're chasing after something, whether it's a relationship or your career or, or in both areas, um, you're chasing after it, but it's, it's, I don't think, I think what Spirit is trying to say that you need to not chase. <laughs> you need to allow it to come to you if it's meant to be. So let's see what else we have. Intuition and manifestation. And that comes back to here where deciding what you really want. I feel like you may be chasing after a dream that's really not meant for you. And you need to go into your intuition. You need to figure out what it is your heart really wants. You may have been chasing something that your head told you you needed or wanted. And now you're realizing it's not really what you want and manifesting something new in your life. Oh, nice. Yes, letting go. Um, I love this card because it's, it's kind of like these dogs are pulling her towards these two other doors that, you know, the universe, spirit, your angels have kind of closed on you. And you may be feeling like, I have to chase after those closed doors, right? That's what I really want. But what Spirit is saying in this card is that there's something better for you. And they know what that is. Like the dogs are dragging you in this direction, but it's like, just let go of the leashes. Um, and this could be belief systems about your work or relationships. It could be the actual, you know, work you do. You might be changing careers or changing jobs. It could be that, you know, you are leaving people behind, that you're going in a totally new path. And it's these could also represent people in your life that are trying to pull you in this direction. And you're like, no, I want to go in this direction. <clears throat> Interesting energy. Okay, so let's definitely go to the tarot and see if we can get some more information. So in this, um, I'm going to look at your past and present energies, and then your obstacle and advice from spirit, and then the outcome. So let's see what we have here in your past. What energy do you have? Wow, you have three that popped out. Okay, so let's see. You have, wow, you have three aces. You have the ace of pentacles. You have the ace of swords, and you have the ace of wands. Like, I don't even, that is like, I don't think that's ever happened. Um, so the one that you are missing is the Ace of Cups. And it's kind of interesting because sometimes when we're reading Tarot, we always say that if three are there and there's the one missing, the real message is the one that's missing. And maybe it's, there, there could be two messages and we'll see what the rest comes out. It could be that in the past you've realized that what you're missing is a certain love, you know, a true love. It's really interesting, but you definitely have a new beginning um, in career, in your ideas, right? Your thinking, your communications, and also your, you know, your intuition, your passions for life. This is very, I mean, it's really lovely. Very lovely. So let's see what you have. Yes. And yet you still have this stuck energy. So it's kind of interesting. Okay, we're going to clarify that. 
All right, so what is your present energy? What is your present energy? I'm still shocked by three aces dropping like that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Um, and I'm pulling these on uh, on uh, camera, so I'm not rigging it at all. <laughs> you have the four aces. Um, I'm kind of like in shock. This uh, this is lovely. And now here you go. Like oh my gosh! Like in the past, you maybe have thought I'm I'm starting. You know, I, I'm getting the money that I want. I'm getting. You know, I'm making the communications. I'm. You know communicating my ideas I'm getting new ideas new passions in my life the only thing I'm missing is love and now look at this you know you get the ace of cups oh my gosh so lovely so lovely now if you're not feeling this I say you really need to go play because this is all coming in um you know you definitely are starting a new cycle and you know what all of these aces you are definitely stepping into that elephant energy and just like, you are going to go for it. So let's see what your obstacle is. Emotional loss. So this is the five of cups. There's, you know, somebody that you're missing. I really feel like it's a somebody. It could be a situation, but it's definitely, you know, weighing on your mind. You have all this new coming in, but you're still missing somebody from the past. You're disappointed that it, it it's not going the way you thought it would. All right, and yes, so here in your advice, you have the Tower card. So the Tower card, you know, can be, you know, kind of scary, but I really think in this case, it's really you getting on epiphany like suddenly seeing, you know, this, um, where you need to put your energies. And you're going to get this in epiphany about where to put your energies. And it's going to give you this elephant energy of just going forth, going, you know, wanting to go quickly ahead. Lovely. And your outcome is the two of swords. Like, not knowing what to choose. Um, let's go ahead and clarify because before I say anything, let's go ahead and clarify these. All right, so let's clarify all this past energy, all of these cups. What is going on here? Two of cups. See, and it's, there's somebody you really, you're really drawn to. Um, you know, perhaps this person that you have split from and you may have been chasing, like you may have felt like I have everything except true love. And I think that that is what may have given you this obstacle of emotional loss. You may not yet be in this Ace of Cups energy. It may be right around the corner. Um, and so you're kind of like looking at your life and saying, I have everything I've wanted, I've manifested, except for this one person, my true love. So let's see what your present energy is. Six of Wands, you're going to, oh my gosh, you're going to be successful. In this Ace of Cups. This is definitely you stepping into. And I love it. Look at how the colors just go together. Like this. This is definitely you finding success in this love. You may be the one that wants to offer this love to somebody else. Um, or this could be, you know, let's get two more. This could be this person. Oh, here's the Page of Cups. Let's get one more. It could be this person coming back and offering their cup. King of Pentacles. This is nice. This is so nice. So you have the Page of Cups, which is, you know, kind of like the Ace of Cups, but so much stronger. 
And, you know, it can also be an apology. A lot of times it represents an apology from someone in the past and they've become more grounded. Like you may have had to let them go. This may have occurred in the past. You may have had to let them go so that they could become more grounded. Um, and if that's not resonating with you, I think it's, it's saying that you are becoming the king of pentacles. You're putting your energy in yourself. You're building, you know, your stability, balancing out your life, taking care of yourself. And the, the dog represents loyalty and love. And you're loving yourself and able now to offer your cup of love. So there's, you know, a couple of different scenarios here, whichever one resonates with you. All right, with this Five of Cups, we have Page of Swords. Yes, you are seeing, I think this is really speaking that you are getting perhaps some information from this person in the past um, or about this person in the past. You're getting some clarity about this emotional loss about what went down here um and it could be that you're getting that clarity from your intuition but the page of swords really talks about you know some kind of text email um seeing something on social media you know it, it's going to bring you clarity about this so now this tower nine of pentacles Yes. Okay. This is not a bad tower. <laughs> Cancer, this is not a bad tower. This is you getting epiphany about what it is that you truly want to do. What it is, you know, this is you stepping into your nine of pentacles, how you're going to do that. Getting the intuition, you know, going within, finding out, getting information about where you really want to go and then how to manifest it. You're not going to be at this impasse anymore. You're going to get the, the messages that you need one way or another to how to, you know, redirect your energy so that you can totally step into this elephant energy and go forth. All right, and these two dropped out. Oh, King of Swords, I mean, sorry, Knight of Swords and Nine of Cups. Well, I'm going to pull one more here. I think that this means you're going to have a big decision coming up. I think this person from the past is going to come rushing back in. They're going to see you standing in your Nine of Pentacles energy, and they're going to want to rush right back in. And you're going to have to choose. This is you having to choose between, you know, this person from the past or what it is that you want for yourself. Um, so let's pull one more on that one and see what else we have. I think you have a big decision coming up. Oh, Queen of Pentacles, nice. You know, this is you. Right? This is you, um, and gender doesn't matter. This is you just finding peace and calm. I really think these two really speak to me. You know, like they're both peaceful and calm. She is sitting here, but she's like manifested what it is that she wants. And here she's manifested what she wants. Like whatever your pentacle is, whatever your nine of cups is, you are going to be able to manifest it. And it may mean that you are having to, you know, leave this person behind. Now, since there does seem to be a romantic connection, either coming back or, or um, still on your mind, let's look at the Romance Angel cards. And Cancer, if you're enjoying this reading, I would really appreciate it if you would like, share, subscribe. Um, it really does help my channel to grow and so I can get my message of light and love out to more people. So I really do appreciate your support. Okay, that one wants to come. Oh, one more, this one. Oh, honeymoon. Okay, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. This person may be coming back and really, you know, um, 
Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance and engagement. <laughs> Cancer. <laughs> Cancer. Look at what your future holds. And I really do think that, you know, for some of you, you may want to move on from this person in the past and you may be trying to manifest somebody new into your life. And for others, when this person comes back, you're going to have that heart-to-heart -heart conversation and you're going to work things out. Remember, you have free will. And I think that it's kind of up to you. You are the manifester here. You are, you're in control. It's about redirecting your energy and allowing this person to leave for now, if need be. And it's definitely looking like this person is going to re-enter your life. And whether, you know, your decision will be, do you want them back into your life or do you want to move on? So here's the Creativity Oracle card. And this one popped out so quickly. Let's see. Habits. Examine habits that may impede the pathways to your goals and encourage beneficial ones. And um, Spirit told me to come back to this. You know, re redirecting your energy. Look at your habits of what you are doing that could be impeding your pathway. And, you know, the elephant pushes through the obstacles. But make sure that you are also using good habits of, you know, self-care, self-love, um, you know, yoga, meditation, whatever it is that you do to help open up your intuition so that you can get guidance on where it is that you need to go and letting go of the fears, letting go of people that are telling you um, to go in a different direction. It's lovely energy. All right, so let's do an angel message. Let's do a final angel message to close this reading out. What do we have? Self-criticism. We, your angels, ask you to please be more compassionate towards yourself. Observe the times when you have critical thoughts about you and make an effort to replace these negative thoughts with positive, loving ones. You are a wondrous being of light, even if at times you think you are less than perfect. Remember that God and divine perfection exist in all things and that's a lovely um message you know the queen of pentacles she understands her power she doesn't use her power to control others she uses her power to bring um to be generous to others to nurture others but she always puts herself first which is the way that you know we really need to be is to put yourself first, love yourself first, work on you first, and then you'll have so much energy to give to others. And to get to this point, right, you need to allow your self-criticism to fall away and stay really positive in your energy. This is a lovely reading. I hope you have enjoyed it, Cancer. And I wish you lots of love and light in this situation and all your situations. Bye for now.